everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Welcome, everybody. This is Salvi the Blue Squirrel coming to you again with another bit of news. We have Melico who hit 400k. Melico, if you don't know, is from Ex Soleil. The seventh wave. She is a female Japanese for English virtual idol. Basically, she has Japanese and English. She had reached 400k. She interacts with bigger JP senpais now. It's basically a good thing for her because, as we know, Niri Sanji JP, Niri Sanji overall, is not really factoring EN into any of their predictions for, you know, better uh, money, better growth, anything like that. While I have no issues with her, I keep asking myself the same question over and over. Why is she an EN branch? I do know. I do know why. She wanted to skip the VTA or whatever that was, but it's just plain weird that Ian Branch currently is used as a loophole for some. Yeah, I mean, I guess Ian Branch is easier to get into compared to others. Uh, Medical probably is the only person who will survive the Ian Purge. Well, I mean, she's pretty much like unofficially a JP person at this point with uh, all the people that she seems to be uh, going with and seems to be collabing with. Seem to be very much a JP oriented group, which is interesting to say the least. But it's also, you know, let them do what they're going to do. Hopefully she ends up continuing on a upward spiral upward path whatever you want to call it and then you know she hopefully will get out of there eventually since this is an opinion take it with a grain of salt of course as always i always recommend you take opinions and rumors and everything like that with a grain of salt person mentioned about uh zion with smear campaign and Sanji. This, this person considers it a cult they belittle their talents leave them depressed convince them that they're never going to be anything without them then they use them to bear the brunt of the hatred they have when they, when they leave and showing them that they are disposable turn zion and selen to both common evil it is a cult uh they are the taxes to keep talents trapped it does seem like it it is a black company in my opinion a lot of other people are like no it's not a black company it's just you know a, a lot of red flags in the company but i honestly consider it a black company they're literally putting the golden child and scapegoat s on a company white setting using it to make a place where they feel they can't escape at like every single person when it came to either you know kosaka slash matarakan uh pomu slash uh, you know, Made Mint, Michi Mochi V slash Mika Matika, uh, Doki Bird slash Selen, they all felt that they were unmarketable. So it's like, so within the company, the original victims become less victims because a new scapegoat takes their place. They're filled with glee that it isn't them anymore. Hence would explain a lot of the bullying and how the complicit many of them are in all these things. The fact that any color takes all of your streaming equipment when you leave is still insane to me. Yeah, they have that in the contract that they have the right, they reserve the right to take all the streaming equipment, everything you use to stream when you leave. If you don't leave any color on their terms, they'll go out of their way to ruin your life. Like they did to Zion and Doki, or at least they tried to do with Zion and Doki. I know there's way worse stuff out there. There always is, of course. The plaza is so emblematic of any color's corporate culture. It really is. It's a billion dollar corporation full of exploited young people. And it operates itself like a cult. At least that's the way it feels like. Question is, what if those equipment got problems? Livers pay for it. Imagine how many people have already used those stuff with the amount of talents leaving. Yeah, if you pay for your own stuff, I don't see how legally they can take anything. Illegally, I don't think they can. But they're going to try. Literal Scientology tactics. The moment you leave, you get shunned, defamed. All your former cult members talk S about you. It really is. Fan base and its interaction with Niji is a cult, according to this person. The interaction between employees and Niji is just abused in the abuser. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's just not not good times for anybody in Niji Sanji, it seems. Here is a nuclear bad take from somebody. It says, yeah, I don't think Niji Sanji or Blizzard have changed. They did nothing wrong. My brain hurts. This person, Kimo, Chimo, I don't know what they call themselves. I effing hate what about ism, but man, Kurosanji is one place where you're like, brah, S up and just enjoy or shut up. I'm guessing what he's saying and just enjoy what you like. Attempts. Yeah, not good. But Ed, don't touch a Blizzard game then. That's a nuclear bad take. Like there's a lot of S stuff happening in most companies. Some do it in competency. Some are actually directly just while being so gun ho on a letter company trying to change is weird, yo. So this person, I guess, is more of a needy Sanji defender, more of someone who is defending the organization. And saying, yeah, if you don't like bad organizations, then don't pretty much go anywhere, I guess. Because, yeah, there are bad organizations everywhere. That is true. That that doesn't mean we can't criticize an organization for being bad. Like, you can criticize all organizations, including Blizzard, Activision, you know, Ubisoft, uh, Niji Sanji, Google, Amazon, any of those large companies. You can, you can definitely criticize them. Just because everyone is bad doesn't mean that you shouldn't call them out when they're actually doing bad things. There are multiple companies that are S, so it's okay for S. Need to be S. That's what I got from reading this uh, version of no ethical consumption. Take 
somewhere deep downstream just about uh think about money contributes to something yeah this is basically what their, their takeaway is uh if you can't be perfect why bother being good no you should always strive for being good you should always strive for being good yes of course there are so many bad things going on everywhere so many bad companies but that doesn't mean we can't try to make something into into something better that doesn't mean we can't try and you know give something positive to benefit someone else you know yeah there is such a thing as no ethical consumption but that doesn't mean like like i said i'm gonna still can can tr try to contribute my personal take try to contribute to try to make things better try to make things as good as possible and you know move on from there here we go a little bit thing a little bit of an update on vivi victoria bright shield she seems to be four times omg she's a kendrick fan it seems like dear vivi i'm sorry that man is your boss let me be honest it takes a man to be a man your boss is not responsive oh my god someone make mtg cover of nidhi sanji i don't know what that is but ye oh god someone actually did it oh v ho oh, i remember you was conflicted misusing your influence looks at certain three livers mustard on the beat oh speaking of kendrick too bad we won't ever see more reaction to the beef can imagine her belly laugh yeah but fuamoko acknowledging it is more than i ever knew i wanted oh yeah because uh fuamoko did kind of like a supposed, you know, beef with Kendrick Lamar, you know, just kind of messing around. Of course, it's always fun to have that kind of stuff. It's good when when livers can have the, that kind of, you know, um, not taking themselves seriously. That kind of uh, positivity going on. You know what I mean? It's always good. I love seeing that. At this point, Drake should be so famous black screen stream. Uh, maybe it's out of loop, but I see the post every comment and still having no idea what this is about. The short answer or the long answer? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Kendrick Lamar beef thingy. So basically... Vivi's getting into, into that whole thing, at least looking at it. So yeah, that's what it is. Kendrick Lamar and uh, Drake had a beef. A little bit of meme time here for you guys, of course. Uh, can't escape from justice is a thing that's happening here. It's uh, basically all the girls from Advent trying to escape from uh, from <laughs> Hollow Justice. Always great. Also here, really loving the offensive options for all of them to have. Giant sword, giant fist, giant spear, giant eyes. The, the eyes that will hurt you from the boys right there. You cannot fool me, green woman. I see your true colors. Yes, they're very much alike. Very much alike, but still very cute. Gotta love it. And a little bit on the indie VTuber side. This is somebody that um, I guess is having issues with people being a little too parasocial, a little too weird, a little bit off and a little bit off-putting. Of course, you uh, when talking about this person, it is right here. This Akamamiko person here is uh an 18 plus person you know it's like basically just taking what they do and enjoying themselves of course but uh it says it's a vtuber of course it says i follow people who interact with me in my posts and replies i don't follow people who get s with them i literally have a boyfriend who i love very much just because i post pictures of myself doesn't give you the right to be mo you sending moaning audios ew that's very much a big ew on that part see what they wrote here the audio chin to this but i hope you don't block me what is that intrusive thoughts dude you're effing touching yourself to me maybe Sorry. Oh, God. This is just wrong. Uh, but the F, nasty as F. I have a boyfriend. Sorry, sorry. Didn't know that. Promises will not happen again. Yeah. People are getting a little too, a little too happy. So I say, I want to add, I work with my, I work on my body. I take care of myself and I wear clothes that I find cute and fit my style, which is perfectly fine. If they want to take pictures of that, that's also perfectly fine. Doesn't give you the right to send moaning audios unsolicited. I didn't ask for it. It's very unwelcome. Self-confidence doesn't give you a pass to be creepy. Y'all, I met my own self-confidence doesn't give away people being creeps. Sorry, the word wording mixed up. Just wanted to fully be clarifying that here. Thank you all for your kind words. No one single or taken should have to deal with unsolicited stuff like that. Very true. It's very weird to have that happen. It's very kind of just like you have lost impact, shame in our society. Yeah, it is just really weird, man. Just don't do that. I mean, we have Luca who did that with uh, Nidhi Sanji. We don't want any more anyone else doing that. Just chill, you know? That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.